All right. Lesson two, objective. Express metric mass measurements in terms of a smaller unit. Model and solve addition and subtraction word problems involving metric mass. So today we're going to be focus focusing on mass measurements. Let's listen, guys. Let's listen, guys. Vocabulary for the day. Everyone say them with me. Gram. Kilogram. Mass. Convert. Equivalent. Mixed units. Let's now look at our metric units of mass. We know that 1,000 grams equals 1 kilogram. So an example of 1 gram would be a paper clip or a dollar bill. An example of 1 kilogram would be a 1 liter bottle or a dictionary. So we know that 1,000 paper clips would weigh about 1 kilogram. And we know that $1,000 bills will weigh about 1 kilogram. Everyone say 1 gram equals 1,000 kilograms. So everyone say 1,000 grams equals 1 kilogram. So let's use a chart to show the relationship between kilograms and grams. So we know that 1 kilogram equals 1,000 grams. So 2 kilograms would equal how many grams? 2,000 grams. Now 3,000 grams would equal how many kilograms? 3 kilograms. 4 kilograms would equal how many grams? 4,000 grams. 5,000 grams would equal how many kilograms? 5 kilograms. 6,000 grams would equal how many kilograms? 6 kilograms. 7 kilograms would equal how many grams? 7,000 grams. 8 kilograms would equal how many grams? 8,000 grams. 9,000 grams would equal how many kilograms? 9 kilograms. Finally, 10 kilograms would equal how many grams? 10,000 grams. Let's add mixed units of mass using the algorithm or a simplifying strategy. So first, let's look at 8 kilograms plus 8,200 grams. So first, let's go ahead and write the problem out horizontally. We have 8 kilograms plus 8,200 grams. All right, so let's go ahead and convert our 8,200 grams to kilograms. So how many kilograms do we have here? If you said 8 kilograms, you are correct. So now you can see that we leave this one the same and we take 8,200 grams and convert it to 8 kilograms and 200 grams. Now you know you can add anything with like units. So 8 plus 8 gives me 16 kilograms and then we have 200 kilograms left over. So another way you can do it is go ahead and convert 8 kilograms in the beginning. But you're going to watch and you will end up with the same exact answer. So we go ahead and convert 8 kilograms to 8,000 grams and then we add our like units and we have 16,200 grams. And once we take out our kilograms and, or convert our grams to our kilograms, we're left with 16 kilograms and 200 grams. Next. Let's go ahead and add 25 kilograms, 537 grams, plus 5 kilograms and 723 grams. So remember, when adding these numbers, you can only add like units. So my 25 kilograms 
plus my 5 kilograms will give me a sum of 30 kilograms. Next, I look at my grams. 537 grams plus 723 grams will give me a sum of 1,260 grams. So let's go ahead and simplify this. So we know that 1,000 grams equals 1 kilogram, and then we have 260 grams left over. Now I know I can add my like units, so 30 kilograms plus 1 kilogram will give me 31 kilograms, and my 260 grams stays the same. So all these numbers added together will give me 31 kilograms and 260 grams. So next, let's go ahead and convert everything to grams and then add them together. So if we take 25 kilograms and change it to grams, that would be 25,000 grams. So 25,000 plus 537 would give us 25,537. And this right here would convert to 5,000 grams. So 5,723 grams is what we'd be left with. And then we go and add those. And we get a total of 31,260 grams. And you can see that this right here is equivalent to this right here.